Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are checking out how to play You've Got a Friend in Me. This lesson is based on a cover that I'll link down in the description box below. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to show you what's being played over there because I think this is the best version that I've heard a cover, you know, a live cover of, of this song. So, and the best part about this is the intro. I think the intro is really beautiful. And yeah, let's get right into it. To play this song, you'll need a capo on the second fret. All right, that's all you need. And let's get right into it. So, song begins um, with the intro over here. So we start on C major, all right? So, so in the beginning, you'll just want third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string. You pick the fifth string with the thumb, with the thumb, all right? And then. So over here you pick the fourth string, pick the third string open, and then pick the second string open. And at the same time you're going to do a hammer on from open to the first fret on the second string. Alright, so you get Alright, once again. Next we come to so this is like your E minus seven, but over here we're just you know playing second fret on the fifth string and third fret on second string, and you're gonna pick both of these strings together, and then you pick first string open. All right, so from the beginning you have this. All right, once again, and then you know you can do a little slap if you want like that so next we come to a minor so for a minor you just need open on fifth string and first fret on second string you need to play both of those strings together all right and then you pick third fret third string over here second fret all right so and then again you're going to do the slap so from the beginning you have this all right so if you speed that up a little bit all right that's what you have till now Next, you come to this, to this part over here. So here I'm using my ring finger and little finger. If you want, you can use your middle finger and ring finger. It doesn't really matter. So basically what we're doing is we are picking fourth fret on the top string and fourth fret on second string. Pick both of them together. Then you go one fret down. All right. So you want to lift your fingers to make sure you have that uh, mute effect over there, like that. So, all right, now you come over here. And that will end your intro. So you come back to C major basically, all right, come back to C chord, you pick fifth string and second strings together all right so now you pick third string open and then again do the slap so and after that so here you're you know you're again on c shape over here but you want to bring your little finger and put it on the fourth fret of fourth string and you pick the fifth and fourth strings together. So fifth string is third fret over here with your C major over here. And this one is fourth fret, all right, on the fourth string. You're gonna pick both of these strings together. So. After that. So here you have the fourth fret on the fifth string and third fret on fourth string pick them together all right so all 
after that so now you have third fret on the fifth string and you pick fourth string open and do a hammer on from open to second fret and then you pick third string open all right do the slap again and then so you come one fret down on the fifth string so you have second fret over here and you're going to again pick both strings together fifth and fourth strings and we'll hammer on from open to first fret on the fourth string then you pick third string open and do the slap so Alright, so you want to do a slap after and again. So that completes your intro. I know it's a bit difficult. Make sure you rewind the video wherever you missed whatever part because it's important to get, you know, all the notes over here. So if I could play the whole intro one more time. And then you start with the verse so now let's see how to play the verse where he starts singing all right so now this part is not that difficult um, again we're going to finger pick and you need to take care of you know the rhythm pattern over here so you got a friend in me. so you have to take care of the right hand over here because left hand is pretty easy start with C major Right, you're going to just pick bass note over here, which is fifth string, and then you're going to pick fourth and third strings. I'm doing it with my index finger and middle finger over here, and then do the slap. All right, so and then you come to a G augmented. So over here, you have third fret on top string, second fret on fifth string, and first fret on fourth string. So you just do a little, um, you know, you do, you pick fifth and fourth strings together. Then you pick the bass note, top string. Then again, pick them together. Then you can do, you can do the slap again. So. Come back to C major. And then you come to C7 by just adding your little finger over here, third fret of third string that becomes C7 so watch my right hand I'm going to play it really slowly so when I'm you know putting my little finger over here I do up down up so when I say up down up up is third and fourth strings together and then you know down is with your thumb over here on the bass string fifth string over here all right so that's going to be the main you know picking pattern over here like this depending on you know wherever the bass note is on the chord so if, if it's you know F major it has to be on the top string so let's get back into the verse After that, um, this is what you see him doing. He does it with index finger. You know, you can do it with index finger as well if you want. And play F this way because a lot of uh, guys cannot do it with, you know, um, their thumb. So if you're comfortable with this, you can do it like that because I find that easy. So, you know, basically what we're doing is you're doing open on the top string and first fret on the top string. All right. So... So you come to F major, so you, now you have over here, and then 3rd fret, 3rd fret on 5th and 4th strings, 2nd fret on 3rd string, and 1st fret on 2nd string, so, 
and do a slap so you pick fourth and third strings together you can do the slap then so the reason why we're holding on to the proper chord because is because you can you know you, you can choose to play the second string if you want so you know that's your choice where whichever strings you want to pick so so f fails two times over here one two so up down up do the slap again so then you come back to c major all right just once because after that you have to bring in your little finger put that back over here c7 you see him doing this a lot whenever he is on c major first time and the next time he puts this right over here so if you take from the beginning for the verse you've got a friend So the picking pattern like that and then again you come back to F major C major E7 and A minus 7 so you're going to repeat this three times F to C to E7 to A minus 7 so just once all right then you come to C up down up and then E7 so over here how you play this card is you've got 2nd fret on the 5th string open on 4th string 1st fret on 3rd string alright so E7 again up down up so you can you know you can choose to pick whichever strings you want 5th um, 4th and 3rd or 2nd that's also right, second and third if you want. Then come to A minus seven. So A minus seven, open on the fifth string, second fret, open first fret. All right? So from the beginning. seven a minus seven and you do this three times second time and again third time and now you come to this part over there so this part over here this is you're moving from D minor to G to C twice over there so you know you can pick open on the fourth string which is going to be the bass note for D minor and then over here he only plays second and third strings together so second string is yeah third fret and second fret over here stop and then up down up which is going to be on G chord G major, open on the second string, open on third string as well, and you've got top string third fret. And then you come back to C major, and then again he goes goes back to C seven. So up down up slap, and again come back to C seven, and repeat this part one more time. end over here and then when you come down you're going to just repeat the intro again so you see how we went into the intro once again D minor the verse one more time the entire verse where the uh, the little girl is singing so you can just repeat everything one more time f c e minus seven sorry e7 
7 and then A minus 7 three times. this part you come to the bridge of the song so now we're going to check out how to play the bridge all right now let's see how to play the bridge so we are changing a lot of different chords over here all right so it starts with F major and then we get into the next line so we start with F major twice over here so Again, using the same, you know, picking pattern, up, down, up, slap, up, down, up. You know, picking the third and fourth strings together. Then you come to B major. So B major is, you know, he, he's using, um, I think he's using the first string as well. So you can either play it like this, or you can play it like this. It's your choice. I like to play it like this, this way. You've got bass note on 2nd fret of 5th string and you've got a bar over here 4th um, fret and 4th fret on the 1st, on the 2nd and 3rd strings Alright, so So up, down, up, up, down, up So you've got up, when you're doing up, you're, you're picking 2nd and 3rd strings together And then you come to C major. So we're here again, um, same picking pattern as B. And then you come to B7 chord. So we're here, you've got second fret and second fret on the first and third strings. And you've got bass note over here, first fret of your second string, of your fourth string. All right, so. once we're here then you come back to C and C7 all right up down up, up, down, up so that will be your first line for the bridge so again once again and then for the next line you start with B major chord back to da, 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 you know, your next lines for the bridge so we're here you're moving from B to twice over here on B and then to B7 again uh, twice over there as well all right and then you come to E minor so E minor you've just got um, second fret on fourth string just once over here and an A7 chord so 2nd fret 2nd fret on 4th and 2nd strings all right so this this one I've taken from the original song um, because um, he plays it a little differently in the performance so the, this bridge I've taken this from the original song because I think those are the chords that fit right over there so twice over here twice over here And then you've got D minor chord and then you come to G all right and then you come back to your C major C7 F C C7 then you come back to F Twice over here, right? And then you come over this part. And then so we're here that part. You 
come to C major and just going to pick fifth string and second and third strings together and then E7 and then A minor all right so if I could take it from the ending of the bridge T minor and G and C, just like we did in, you know, if you remember the verse. Or, or you can call this the chorus, sorry. G, C. And the last time again. And that will be the ending of the song. So that's how you play. You've got a friend in me. I hope you liked the lesson and if you did like it then please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.